it. It just keeps coming. My name is Nancy Hatch Dupree, and I'm working with the Afghanistan Center at Kabul University, which is a collection of 60,000 documents related to Afghanistan. Well, I came first as a, a, with the American Embassy, but that was many years ago. And then I married Louis Dupree, who was an archaeologist. And we spent many years here going to various places in Kandahar and also in Balkh province and also in Badakhshan province, uh, excavating prehistoric caves. Mm -hmm. I went to Bamiyan. This was when, when there was no paper guide and there were no two-legged guides. And uh, this is one of the wonders of the world. So I rode the guide to, to Bamiyan. After that, I became a guide writer. I wrote not only on Bamiyan, but on Kabul. And then the next one was on Herat. And the next one was on the north, Azari Sharif and the other provinces in the north. And then finally, mm, I published a general guide to all of Afghanistan. You know the Afghans, you, they respect Kharijis, foreigners, number one, or they used to. They respect women also. Oh, I had no trouble traveling alone. People were always very, very hospitable and they wanted to help me. During the Tariki regime, we were thrown out. And my husband was put in jail. Uh, but um, then we were living in Peshawar. He was coming back with the Mujahideen. I didn't come with the Mujahideen. I thought it was not fair because, again, the Afghan character, you know, they respected the old lady and, and think if there was a helicopter coming, he would, he would stay in order to help me. And that was endangering his life, and I had no right to do that. So my husband, he was like a goat. He would go with the majority and they could find shelter. But um, so he was covering the majority and I was covering the growth of the refugees in Peshawar. Preservation of information. Now this is very important because um, it's not very well developed here. And that's one of the reasons for ACKU, my center. I'm collecting the things that everybody is uh, working, all the research that's being done now. Because usually what happens with these uh, big agencies, they bring a reporter or a consultant, pay them big money, and they write a report, and they circulate it for a short time, and then it disappears. We collect, or try to collect, all the reporting that's being generated by the NGOs, by the bilateral governments, by the UN agencies, anything that, uh, describes what is going on, what is the situation here in Afghanistan. And the reason we do this is because I am convinced that if you give the people of Afghanistan access to the information they need, that they themselves will do 80% of all this very expensive development. I have a program where I publish books uh, that are made for new literates. Very simple, but with 
very strong messages, not only about health, but uh, about uh, geography, about history, about home management. We have 122, oh no, now we've got more, 207 titles in something called the Able Box Library Extension, which goes into the, to uh, district uh, high schools and uh, into village communities. So when the community health workers, they think, oh my God, was I supposed to put one teaspoon or two teaspoons of salt in this medicine? can't remember and there's nothing to tell. So we write a book that goes exactly according to the messages that the Ministry of Public Health are teaching. Nothing else, just reinforcing the same messages. Because ACKO, they get 60,000 documents. Okay, they're all cataloged. That takes a long time. And they are also all um, digitized, or they are becoming, they're not all that, <laughs> too many pages, but anyway, about uh, three quarters of them are digitized. And the reason for digitizing is to preserve them, right? But also, you know, it's very nice to have them on the shelves, and I'm very proud. They're very neat and everything. You can find what you want. You can search for it. You can go and find it. That's all very good. But actually, those documents are no use unless somebody takes them off the shelves and reads them. Out of this, we must see some leadership. You must look to the, to, to, the, to the young people. Find a direction, find a leader to lead us in that direction. 